While most other manufacturers still copy the old horse-drawn principle, still building a machine to pull an implement, the Ferguson arrives. Not just a tractor, it represents a system, a brand new approach to mechanized farming. And that's what this film is all about. From primitive times, mankind has been cultivating the earth, scratching the soil thriftily, painfully, slowly, but surely. Adam's toil is typified by the draft animal. Now, when the motormen came to the rescue of the plowman, Adam found he had two would-be helpers, a designer of implements and a designer of tractors. Two bright boys with bright ideas, bright implements and bright and shiny tractors. But they were designing with a horse-drawn mind. They replaced the horse with a tractor, hitched up the new plow and dragged it along behind. Little did they guess what snags they'd run into. Firstly, as soon as the tractor pulled, the implement revolved and the shiny motor tipped up. So the designers added weight to keep the front end down on the ground. And snag number two, wheel slip. Next, they fixed up hefty rear wheels. There you are, that was to counteract this wheel slip. That's the way they reasoned. The greater the resistance, the more weight needed to keep the front end down, and the bigger the wheels to prevent wheel slip. And so the rot set in. So much for the old two-piece approach. Then an Ulsterman named Harry Ferguson, a brilliant engineer and a practical farmer too, put his finger on a vital fact. As soon as the tractor pulled, the implement tended to revolve, remember? He realized that this force could be made to work for the farmer. Asking the old tractor to fade out and moving in a little closer to see what happened, Harry Ferguson just added a strut to the plough frame. The strut was placed right in the path of this natural force. The powerful thrust was then directed forward by means of a top connecting link. With this link in position, the thrust is brought right through the tractor onto the front wheels of the new traction unit. The tougher the going, the more force is directed down onto the front end. Simple enough. That's one of the secrets of the Ferguson system. Gone are the days of the mechanized horse. With the Ferguson, implement and tractor are one unit. Yes, the Ferguson carries its implements, it doesn't pull them. There are no wheels to the implements, so the whole weight is effectively added to the back wheels of the tractor. The grip of those wheels, the traction, is increased by the suck of the implement as it works the soil and by the weight of the soil on the implement. Therefore, as well as tending to keep the front end down, the greater the soil resistance, the greater too is the grip of the rear wheels. That puts the heavy weights right out of date. Harry Ferguson has invented a lightweight machine that can do the heavy jobs without built-in weight. Ferguson didn't overlook safety, comfort or convenience when he thought out his system. Just watch this. Switch on. Now the letter S on top of the gear lever housing stands for starter. See that? A forward push of the gear lever instead of the usual button or old-fashioned handle. No danger of starting in gear. And that's not all. Without leaving his seat, he can line up tractor and implement.
Attachment to the tractor is by linkage at three points only, of which the two bottom links are secured with their pins first. This unique linkage system is common to all Ferguson implements and makes the job simplicity itself. With the third linkage point, which connects the top connecting link to the tractor, field conditions may make slight further alignment necessary. But there's nothing more to it than to start up and gently ease the tractor into position. The pin then slips in without difficulty. There's a Ferguson implement for almost every type of work on the farm. But in this film, we're sticking to the plough to illustrate our points. And now the driver shows us a few details about the raising and lowering of the implement. There's a quadrant stop that takes care of your setting. This is set for texture of the soil, and that's the only adjustment you have to make. The raising and lowering of the implement, whether for working the soil or in transit, is all done from the driver's seat. Back to drawing again, to point up this simple control. There's a small lever just handy on the other side. Close up. There you are. Genuine fingertip control, which you saw in operation just now, raising and lowering the implement. This control lever works a small hydraulic pump situated inside the transmission housing. The pump supplies oil to a ram cylinder just here. A neat hydraulic control of implements, all sealed away from dirt, damp and damage, and very much part of a system that gives you automatic depth control. Taking a section through the ground to watch what happens, just set for texture, and providing the texture remains constant, any irregularities of surface are automatically taken care of. If the texture varies as you work, a movement of the fingertip control lever is all that's necessary to maintain constant working depth. At the tractor end of the top connecting link, there's a control spring. This control spring is mounted on a shaft that leads to the ram cylinder and pump. That's the secret. However uneven the ground, you get automatic depth adjustment. We're not ashamed of bringing in the dotted lines once more. The greater the resistance, the greater the thrust on all wheels. Even when you plough uphill, with Ferguson implement and tractor working as one unit, the front wheels hug the ground just the same. That's a relief and a blessing to farmers who have to work hilly country. There's no possibility of the tractor coming over backwards with this system. This simple automatic control system brings you yet another Ferguson Plus. Here comes a hidden obstruction, a tree root. Watch how at the first wallop the Ferguson prevents damage because the weight of the implement is immediately released from the rear of the tractor. It's worth repeating this so we'll examine the action all over again. The forces involved when working the soil are the weight of the implement plus the suck and weight of the soil. These forces are carried by the hydraulic mechanism. Now on striking an obstruction, sudden forces are exerted on the hydraulic mechanism. These release oil pressure and immediately dissipate the weight on the rear wheels. While the forward thrust continues onto the front wheels, allowing the back wheels to spin. So with the weight of the implement released, you just back away and lift with the fingertip control lever, then move on, lower, and you're working again. Time and money saved. So the Ferguson has all the answers, because it's been designed as a system with implement and tractor as one unit. A linkage system that keeps the front end down. A 
tractor that does not pack the ground. A light machine that does the heavy jobs as well because it produces traction without built-in weight. Its automatic control system gives the driver complete command of all operations from the driver's seat. Given soil of a constant texture, automatic depth control takes care of any irregularities in the surface. When working soil of varying texture, automatic depth control still leaves you in your seat, adjusting the depth as you go. The Ferguson is so maneuverable that you can farm every bit of the ground, every foot of every acre. See how the implement starts work the moment it's lowered. Penetration without weight. As all implements are part of the one farming unit, they're all self-propelled. Implements without wheels, and that's one headache less. Watch how easy it is to back them into the average storage space without manhandling. So when you buy a Ferguson, you're buying a system that gives you penetration without weight, that keeps the front end down, even uphill. It gives you protection against hidden obstructions, automatic and fingertip hydraulic depth control, and traction without built-in weight. The range of Ferguson implements completely covers every main farming cultivation. Here are just a few of them. Ferguson has the last word too. Just pass it on to your driver. One spanner only. That's all he needs for the few field adjustments required. There you are, neat to the last detail. That's the Ferguson, which combined with its full range of implements is the tidiest parcel you've ever seen, and coming off the production line faster than any other in the business.